Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be going over my cooling system for my 85Z and specifically just the coolant cooling system, not the intercooler, not the oil cooler, just the coolant. So starting up front here I have a Champion 3 row aluminum radiator and the fans here are going to be Maxima E fans. Now I can't tell you the exact year, I do not remember. I got them from a scrapyard for pretty cheap but I want to say they are mid to late 90s. Uh, this is what they look like, they're all black, um, just a rectangle, dual fans, and the thing I liked about these is there is actually uh, dual speeds for each fan, so you have a low and a high for each fan. Um, you could wire them up like that, but I have them just wired in so that it's one fan on full or both fans on full. Um, and how that's controlled is a little bit, not complicated, but I had to modify a few things. Originally, I bought this guy here. This is a, I, I believe it's pronounced Daryl or Daryly fan controller, whatever it is. Uh, I got it off Amazon or eBay. And it came with two probes that you would stick into the radiator and it would turn one fan or both fans on depending on, you know, when it gets to a specified temperature. But I found that the preset temperature was too high. It didn't turn on early enough. So I'm still using this, but I've modified it to work. So how it does work is there's bad uh, power coming straight from the battery and it goes into the module here. And then I believe the yellow switch is just ignition. So when you turn the ignition on, it kind of sends the power through. So that way you're not, uh, you don't have to worry about it drawing power through one of your accessory wires. Um, so yeah, once the ignition's on, it gives power and the green wire is going to be the AC override. That's one of the features that came with this. So I also have the green wire tapped into ignition. That way it's always giving power to both fans no matter what. So yeah, there's two wires coming out the bottom here, both with 12 volts, and they come over here to these little thermostatically controlled switches. You can I can adjust it anywhere I want. I have one of them adjusted to 180 degrees and the second one to 200. And these are what's controlling when the fans come on. This is pretty much just acting like a big relay. Once the ignition is on, it sends 12 volts to these guys. And then once the um, radiator coolant reaches a specified temperature, it sends that power to the fans. Uh, over here is those little probes that came with it. Just these little metal wires that I stuck into the fins and that's what controls the on and off. The fans themselves, the fitment is pretty good. Like I said, it's a Champion 3 row radiator. Um, these fans came with little tabs on the top and bottom. Uh, I had to trim those off. And then also in this corner over here, I had to trim a little bit of the shroud and same with the bottom there. But uh, it fits very good and it actually mounts to the uh, little tabs on the side of the rad. So very good fitment had no issues with these and they're pretty quiet they flow a lot as for the engine itself it's just a stock uh, water pump and a stock thermostat these lines up here are sorry these hoses these are silicone uh, rad hoses they are the ASCO ones that I got from back in the day but you can get lots of different ones now and I think that is it so hopefully you guys found this interesting and you learned something a uh, few people have just been uh, questioning and wondering how I, you know, what parts I have on the car. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.